Hello, you're with BBC News. With the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world, I'm Sally Bundock. Myanmar's protests intensify. Nurses and other workers go on strike as thousands take to the streets again. A week on from the military coup, this is the scene live in the commercial capital Yangon. South Africa pulls the Oxford AstraZeneca jab from its upcoming vaccine program after a study shows disappointing results against the country's coronavirus variant. Floods kill at least 14 people after a breakaway glacier smashes through a dam in northern India. The search resumes for more than 100 who are still missing. And after a three-week delay, a massive logistical mission and a handful of health scares, the Australian Open finally begins. I'm Shaima Khalil and here in Melbourne Park there is a real buzz around me as play gets underway after a challenging build-up. Tennis fans are finally enjoying the first Grand Slam of the year. A very warm welcome to the programme. For the third day in a row, people have taken to the streets in Myanmar to protest against last week's military coup. Thousands are marching in the main city of Yangon.